okay so welcome this is my pattern paper what i did was first of all i draft out my neckline measurement this is my neckline which is eight then this is my neck which is three so the deep of the armhole i used was seven so i just landed here then the deep of my neck but well, this is not necessary sure i used one and a half the next thing I did was to draft my chest point. My chest point, I made use of eight. I made use of eight for my chest point. And my under balls, I make use of 13. Then the full length of the top, I make use of 22. So the next thing for me was to do is to draft my nipple to nipple point. Remember that this paper, this pattern paper is just one paper. So I did from here i use four for my nipple to nipple use four all through so that i reach the length of my blouse the next thing i'll do is to draft my cup which is four i'm making use of four so i'm drafting four like a cycle all through. so this is what i did i use four this is my four i use the four and mark it all through like this this is the four mark it all through so the next thing I did was to come down here with half inch from this line, my half inch. Then when I came to this center place, I came out with also half inch. So I drew a line like this. So here also I did half inch. This is half inch. So I drew it to this extent. So when I came here, this is my dart. I just used half inch here half inch here then i came down to this side and use half inch half inch then when i came to the down of the length of my blouse i use one inch then i mark it so this is what i will do i will connect the dots to this side connect it here to this side so the reason why we came out with half inch so that the boss will not be showing so this is what i did from here i connect it to this line then from here i connect it also to this line then this half half inches i drew i just connect it here then I connect it to this side then from this side also so I connect it to this line down here and I connect it to this line also down here the next thing for me to do is to use my tape again and use half inch for the neck so this is the neck we are using a deep neck so I'll do it like this also half inch half inch don't forget half inch then you draw the line here draw it bring it down to this side okay so this side should be to meet at this side then here we connect so don't forget to trace the line very well so that your bust will not be that exposed so this is how it should be so now is to draft out my measurements. My bust is um my bust is thirty four divided by four, which is eight and a half. So I'm, this is eight and a half. I'm adding like three inches. One, two, three. But let's make it five. Let's add five on it. So the next thing for me is to draft it. Use a ruler to draw it, then bring it down. Okay, so this is how it will look like. So the next thing for me is to cut it off. Forget to label it A, B, C, D so that you won't forget. So, forget. so the next thing that we'll start now, we'll start our cutting from this straight side. So now let's cut it. Start it from this side first of all. Straight first. Then the next one that will start from is from here. This downside, don't forget. This downside. So, then we go to this downside also. So this is it. Hope you've seen it. Cut it off from here. So the next thing for us to do is to go straight here. So you see, I've cut out this one straight. Next thing for me to do is to remove this part okay so this is it 
then from this upper line this upper line we cut so this is it now i'll remove this one by cutting it straight so this is it so you remember this side that we notched like this so i'm going to cut cut this line out see it you cut it so that it will have shape okay so this is it cut it off like this so you go to the other side and the other side so it will have that shape so this is the other pattern i'll follow it from here and cut it so don't forget one side will be bigger than one side we know our bust is bigger so this is the cutting so now we'll just cut from here like this that is all so this is it so the next now we'll trim off this side so that is all for the cutting so the way you cut out the pattern that is how you cut out your fabric don't forget to notch these areas so remember if you are cutting your pattern make sure the cloth is being folded twice just twice folding then you place your pattern and cut off so the next thing you do is this two center pair remember i said you'll be folding the fabric twice so that it will have double um double face and um, double clothing so this is the center side that i cut out the next thing for you is to join this side you join this one to join it straight like this you join it straight like this then you use your bias at the front so now let's join it first so this is it after i've joined it after i've joined it so the next thing is to put my bias this is my bias i put my bias on top and i'll sew this side here and this side here make sure you put it very well so that it's so relax so after i've done it this i'll fix the bias the next thing is for me to bring this other side here then i'll sew it here i'll join it to this side here join it to this side here so after i've joined it i put my bias here so this is the other side this is the other side so i'll join it to this i remember the way you join your clothes that is how you join your lining so this is the other side i'll join it here at this side then i'll put my bias also so this is how it will look like so the next thing for me is to join the cups so this is the four cups this is how it look like don't do don't mistake it you bring the smaller one and the bigger one like i said so this is the smaller one you look for the so this the smaller one and the bigger one you join it together then you curve it like this and come down so that it will have shape so you do it to the next one so after you've done that you put your cup inside then you trim it to the size of the cup you can see i've trimmed mine so the next thing for you to do is this 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 side should be the upper place then here will be the down side so you put it like this then you can pin it all through so it's all to pin it first so don't forget to sew the cup first this is the cup you sew it inside the clothes when you sew it then you trim all these edges here so you can see after i've sewn it inside this is the cup then look at the way i trim it this is how the cup is make sure this bigger part here should be down then this smaller part should be up so you just put it at the center you turn it you pin it and go to this side pin it and go to this edge. make sure as you are doing it you are drawing it like this and be going so that it will reach this edge okay so this is how it looks like so this is my lining the same way i joined the front so this is my lining you can see the line the same way i joined the 
front this side. that is how we join this one so the next thing i'll do is to sew from this down first when i sew from this down then i'll now sew from this edge also then sew it like this to come like this then here then i'll sew here and leave small parts here that will use and turn it okay so i've sewn this down parts i've sewn this down part the next thing for me is to do turn it like this this is my so this is it i've turned it i'm sewing i left like half inch here so i'll sew these two sides here but i'll sew all this side here i will leave a small space that i'll use and turn it then this is the front that's how it should be i'll just use my machine and follow it like this so this is after i've sewn this place like i said i so this downside and i turn it so this is how it stays to turn my lining this is how i did it i sew it like this then up to this place and straight so now i'm going to trim off this line inside like i said i left small space here that i'll use and turn it out forget just place it then you pin it then you follow it like this like this so you do the same thing to the same way you can see how it is